transmastoid labyrinthectomy. This was a procedure that, uh, procedure that was more frequently performed in the past, uh, but with the advent of genomycin and other ways of doing a chemical labyrinthectomy, we haven't uh, utilized it as much. Uh, this patient has had genomycin, uh, transtympanic genomycin therapy, and still has uh, uh, residual vestibular function on this ear and is being really disabili uh, disabled by the uh, episodic vertigo. So what we're going to do today is do a, uh, basically a transmastoid labyrinthectomy where we'll come behind the ear, go through the mastoid, and then uh, drill out the balance canals. Uh, I thought this would be appropriate for the upcoming temporal bone uh, course in that uh, this approach obviously is very similar uh, to the approach that we use for doing translabyrinthine uh, surgery where we drill through the labyrinth in order to get to the internal auditory canal. Obviously, on this case, we won't need to go so far but again, I thought it would allow you to appreciate the anatomy. Now, this patient has had surgery in the past, and uh, so obviously the mastoid anatomy will be somewhat uh, distorted, but I think it'll give you an idea as far as the labyrinth is concerned and assist you when you're doing your temporal bone dissections. Make sure that all that's fine. And what we're doing is we want to get down, obviously, to the labyrinth. And I always like to find the middle fossa plate, especially on revisions, because your spina henle, in many cases, is gone. So this is anterior, posterior, superior, and inferior, the left ear. Go down to a little higher magnification. Okay, and then let me have the drill, drill on, water on, drill on. And then what we'll do is just start going parallel. Here's the lateral semicircular canal, right in that area there. And we'll start going just parallel. I like to watch where it makes it spin. And we'll just go parallel. And that way they ran into some significant bleeding from the sinus on this one. Here's facial now, starting to show itself. You can see it, the white in the bone there. I don't know if that shows up very well on the TV. But that's going to be facial, and we'll just stay going parallel to it. In this case, we really don't need to do too much work on the facial. The reason I want to get the facial is because we need to go through the labyrinth now. Let me have a super cut on here, Morgan. I'm going to go up higher magnification so you can see better. Uh, that may be too strong. Let's just stay right here, and I'll zoom in with the little Avi adapter. Well, that's pretty good anyway. Let's leave it like that. Let me have a uh, super cut about this size. A little larger. Water on drill on. So this is the same approach, obviously, we use for doing a translabyrinthine removal of an acoustic neuroma. Now we can see the lateral semicircular canal starting to show itself. And I always like to leave that anterior wall intact. So we'll open up, and we always do a cross check, left ear, left ear, everybody in agreement. It's pretty obvious because the patient's been operated on before, but it's always a good idea to check. Okay, so now what we'll do is just follow that. Um, we know where facial is over there. We're just going to follow this down, and it should lead us to our posterior semicircular canal. And being mindful of the facial, and just skeletonizing the facial, being gentle, we monitor the facial nerve. Rotate the patient towards me now, please. Anesthesia is located at the... Put it at him. Go ahead. Towards me. Pass your feet. Okay, let me have the drill back. Okay, so we'll just keep following this because they're gonna it's gonna intersect. Very important when you're doing this that you get the amputated portion of the uh, posterior semicircular canal. That's the area when you look 
back on failures following uh, labyrinthectomy, that's where they get them. And they didn't get the amputated portion. So now we'll come down, see if we can find our posterior canal. Okay, rotate the patient a little bit more towards me now, please. Okay, stop, you see? Now we have to be careful anywhere you get down in here. I don't know what the status is as far as the uh, sigmoid sinus jugular ball. But we just be careful anywhere you get down below your, particularly your posterior semicircular canal, you have to be careful. Now there's the uh, posterior semicircular canal that we're getting into now, and we'll just follow that. And I like these burrs. These are called supercut diamond burrs. They um, they give you a little bit more control than the cutters. Always mindful of where that facial is going. You want to minimize any ridges. You don't want to undercut the facial. That's the other thing. I'm coming right up to it, but I don't want to undercut it. And then we'll just keep following this. And just hang right on the canal. go to a smaller one in a little bit. We still haven't found the amplitude portion. What I'm going to do now is let's go to a uh, cutter about that size so we can move along. So you can see lateral canal, posterior canal. Again, that's going to be heading down to the ampulla. But what I'm going to do now, a little bit bigger than that, Marty. Larger than that. We have the genomycin ready. Okay, because once we finish, that's good, Mark. Now this one might ju jump a little bit, just because it seems like it just doesn't have very many flutes on it. But we'll just see. So we'll follow our posterior canal. That's going to lead us back in this direction. You want to get rid of any ridges that you may have, because it will cause your bird to jump. So all I'm doing now is just following that posterior canal around. We'll come back. There it is back there. Okay, and that's going to lead me into the common cruise. All I'm doing is taking air cells and bone away from that area there. And you'll start seeing another little canal come in through here. And also you may get some bleeding. And we have the gimmick for Rosen. I'll point it out to him with Rosen. So what we've done now is come along our uh, lateral canal, found our posterior canal. We're still going to have to come back there in just a bit. And then we're following our posterior canal around. This is going to go into the vestibule. This is going to go into the superior semicircular canal. And that right, that little dot there is from the subarcuate eminence. That may, uh, um, subarcuate artery. That may uh, bleed in a little bit. So a surprise it's not bleeding already. And these are just air cells coming up towards the dura. All right, I'm going to take off this uh, retractor in just a second so I can get my hand down in here. And anyway, I'm just following that around. So you can see that. Okay, now rotate the patient away from me, please. Okay, Sassy feet. Now you can see that uh, uh, superior canal. Now if you're on another side, 
on the other side, a uh, right ear, you'd have to reverse your drill at this point because you'd catch those edges and fall right into your, uh, slide right into your facial. But with the left ear, you don't. It's going to, your, your bird's going to jump, if it jumps at all, towards the, uh, towards your index finger. So all I'm doing now is getting up to the amplated portion. You can start seeing the amplated portion. And we'll switch in just a bit to the, uh, back to our supercut just to be extra safe as far as the facial is concerned. And we may even go to regular diamond here in just a second, Mark. Make sure no one's pushing on the table. Mark. Okay, good. Now, let me, see. you can see the amputated portion. Let me have a, a regular diamond now, Margaret. Okay. Okay, now we still have that back wall of that uh, lateral canal. That's what I'm working on right now. So that should keep us safe from facial. Okay, but facial is just on the other side of this, so we have to be real careful. Now, let me have, uh, stop the irrigation. Let me have a little foot plate hook. Let's get a picture of this. You want to get a picture of this for them? Ready? Get it? Did you get it? Okay, let me have a little foot plate hook. Okay, now this is the amplated portion. Okay, go back to source. Is it back now? Okay. So uh, this is the amplated portion of the uh, superior canal. We want to make sure we sharply and completely remove. So we got the amplated portion of that. Now here's the, let me have a five suction marker, or a three suction would be better. I've seen neuromas form. in histology on patients and it's uh, amazing. You want to make sure you don't over traumatize this here. There's a plug now, Mark. It's in there. And then we'll go with a uh, supercut because we'd still have to go into the vestibule. Let's have a supercut now, Mark. Or the regular diamond, which I think you have a regular diamond, be just fine. Okay. I need uh, uh, drill suction irrigator then. We have the uh, drill. I'm going to take get rid of this too. I'll allow my hand to get back in. Okay, good. Water on, drill on. Water on. Keep hand on face. I'm, I'm coming right parallel to the bottle canal. And all I'm doing now is just opening up the vestibule, connecting the dots, and then we're going to come back in just a bit. We aren't going to forget about that posterior semicircular canal. Gonna open this up. You have to be careful because you can pop through here. And remember, the floor of the vestibule is the lateralmost portion of the internal auditory canal. It can be quite thin. Now we're starting to see the vestibule better. Again, opening this up, being careful though not to undercut facial. And also not to drill on that vestibule wall. Now I'm just going to keep coming down here. Rotate the patient towards me just a bit. Stop your feet. Take this down, Margaret. I want to get focused. Okay, good. 
We have the drill. All we're going to do now is follow this down because we've got to get down to that ampullated portion. Top. Just following it down. You can see if you hadn't found where the facial nerve is, You'd be a little wipe that off. You'd be a little concerned regarding that um, posterior canal ampule. I'm staying straight, going parallel there. No. Uh, now we're coming to the ampullated portion of the uh, posterior canal. And that's what we're seeing there. Rotate the patient away from me now, please. He's on. Okay, stop. You see. We have that barren suction back now, Marty. Barren suction. Three? Uh, five would be fine. Hurry, though. There's, there's the ampullated portion. Let me have a crab tree now. Crab tree dissector. Okay. Just gently and using the suction to help. I'm just taking any other, and I'll get a longer crab tree in just a second. Now, the utricle is situated here, and we're taking that out now, and then a little bit more anteriorly is the uh, saccule. And so we're taking that. There we go. So that's it, basically. And we'll make sure we get all the vestiges here. Now this is the floor of the vestibule. I'll go up to a little higher magnification. Boy, this you gotta adjust this scope. I tell you, I don't know. But this is the floor of the vestibule, and just if you poke through there, you're gonna get CSF from the I see. We're gonna go down to back down to a lower power. Okay, good. Let me have the drill now. Uh-huh, suction irrigator back. We're just going to smooth this out, make it look nice now. Let's go ahead and get a picture of that, too. Okay. Is that in focus? Get it in focus. Okay, hit it. Okay, good. Now go back to source. Water on, drill on. Okay, now I don't want to drill inside there, but I want to. you need to give me a little bit more length on that one. So all I'm going to do is take off some of the ridges in here so it looks nice. And I'll show you the lymphatic duct and so forth. Rotate the patient towards me just a bit. Okay, stop, you see? Good. Okay, let me have the drill marker. So again, not drilling into the uh, vestibule itself, just taking out some of these ridges outside, making sure that we've gotten everything done. This is the duct you're seeing there, a little white area right there is going to be the lymphatic. I'll see if I can show you that a little bit better. There's a little deep in there, but here's the duct coming right in there. Stop the irrigation marker. That little white line right there is the duct. Okay, drill on. You have to put that retractor back in if this keeps bleeding or keeps grabbing my burr. So this is just that superior symmetry canal. We don't really have to do too much more here. Take off the ridge. And that looks good. And then just one little area here, and we're done. Not inside the vest, I'm staying laterally, being careful with the facial. Okay, good. Let me have a long crab tree.
I am just making it so I can get my instrument in there and there is nothing that would be obstructing Long Crabtree. And then I just feel in here just to make sure I haven't missed anything. You don't want to do this and then have left some small neuroepithelium. That there's a little bit of, we have a, uh, a barren suction. See, there's a little neuroepithelium there. And that, there it is. Okay, it's gone now. That looks good. And again, doing this gently and not pushing too much pressure in there. Okay, I can't see anything else. It looks suspicious. Okay, good. Operation's done. Now we're just going to take some Marigel. Do you have the Marigel? That's soaked in.